All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about Argo Blockchain, stock ticker ARBK on the NASDAQ. They put out a massive press release this morning, and they have had price action that has been all over the place. The market has had a very strange reaction to this. So I want to go through what happened, what they said in their press release, and what the market's reaction has been to this all day today. So if you're new to the channel or if you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody could smash the like button, I would appreciate it. And lastly, if you want to become a member, you can join the channel by hitting the join button, which is right next to the subscribe button on YouTube. Members get some members-only content. In addition to that, we do a once a week members only live stream and also on that live stream members get to pick a company for me to do a deep dive on each week so we'd love to have you join us there let's talk about argo blockchain we're in the middle of the trading day right now and they're trading at the moment they're they're trading at 60 cents on the nasdaq they're up 11 percent i'm going to go through later why i think this is a bit of a strange reaction and and this number has changed drastically throughout the day today. Yesterday they said they were halting trading for one day with an announcement to follow and trading would commence today. So all of that happened exactly as they said. They've put out an announcement. It's rather dramatic, so I want to go through it because it's a massive, massive restructuring for them. A lot of people were expecting this announcement to be that they were going bankrupt. So that is not what the announcement was. So Argo Blockchain did not file Chapter 11. They had put out a press release previously that they were considering Chapter 11, and if they could not put together a deal soon, they may have had no other option than to go into Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization. However, they did put a deal together, so they have avoided that fate for the time being. Let's take a look at what they did. So I'm going to go through the bullet points first because they kind of summarize what went on. Argos subsidiary to sell its Helios facility to Galaxy for $65 million. Those are U.S. dollars. And refinance asset-backed loans with a new $35 million loan with Galaxy. So Galaxy Digital has stepped in here to the tune of $65 million to buy Helios and another $35 million to help refinance their existing debt. So that's a $100 million investment on the part of Galaxy. And obviously this majorly reshuffles what Argo blockchain looks like and how they function as a company. Okay, transactions will reduce total indebtedness by $41 million and simplify Argo's operating structure. Argo will maintain ownership of all mining machines and Galaxy will host Argo's fleet of Bitmain S19J Pros at Helios. So Argo is keeping their machines. Unlike a lot of these other companies that have recently restructured their debt, they did not give their machines back. But what they did do is sell their entire facility in Texas. That was ultimately going to be an 800 megawatt facility capable of running 20 exahash worth of Bitcoin mining. So they have sold that to Galaxy and now Galaxy will host Argo Blockchain's machines. Transactions will strengthen Argo's balance sheet, improve Argo's liquidity position, and enable the company to continue operations. Okay, so that is the absolute key. Improving liquidity and enabling the company to continue operations. So that is truly where they were at. Without this deal or some other deal like it, they were going to have to go into Chapter 11 reorganization, and they could have been done. Argo's subsidiary will sell its Helios facility and real property in Dickens County, Texas, and related access to Galaxy for $65 million. Now, the related assets do not include the Bitcoin mining machines, subject to customary post-closing adjustments. In addition, Galaxy will provide Argo with a new asset-backed loan in an aggregate principal amount of $35 million with an initial term loan of 36 months. The financing will be secured by collateral package that includes 23,619 Bitmain S19J Pro mining machines. That is their entire fleet. So at this point, we know that Argo had previously told us essentially they were completely out of liquidity. They had no more hodl position. They had sold all their Bitcoin and essentially used all their money. So it looks like this is going to free up some money. It's going to reduce their debt. It does not eliminate all their previous debt. They do have about $32 million in bonds that are 8.75% interest. So those still remain. And in addition to that, they now have this $35 million of debt due to Galaxy Digital that's structured over the next 36 months. So those two things together in US dollars are somewhere around $80 million. As the owner of Helios, Galaxy intends to enter into a fixed price power purchase agreement with a licensed retail electricity provider. Essentially what this goes on to say is they're going to pass through that power purchase agreement at cost. But then what Argo will do is they will just pay a fee 
for hosting on top of paying the cost for electricity. The hosting agreement allows Argo to keep its mining machines operating at Helios and mitigate any mining machine downtime from the sale of the Helios facility. Furthermore, the company believes that the immersion cooling system it's developing and implemented at Helios provides for a superior operating environment for these machines, representing approximately 2.36 exahash. So this is gonna be one of the interesting things going forward. Now, they no longer have the burden of owning this facility, a facility that unfortunately was beyond their means as it turned out. Because although they have 2.36 exahash of machines operating, their efficiency has been the lowest of all the Bitcoin miners for months and months now. So they really have not specifically addressed that. I suspect that they've had to turn a lot of their machines off. They've done some self-curtailment over time because they just couldn't afford the electricity. I don't I don't know that for a fact. I can only tell you that their Bitcoin mined per exahash has been basically among the lowest, if not the lowest, of all the publicly traded Bitcoin miners for months and months and months, including this past month. Now, the good news is they do not have to shut down. Operations should continue as usual at Helios. It's just they're no longer going to own the facility. But hopefully, with the cash that this provides and the additional liquidity that this provides, this allows them to get all of their machines up and running on a full-time basis, and we can start to see what their actual potential production is. So they have 2.36 exahash in Helios. They have another 0.14 exahash in Canada. So that equals a total of 2.5 exahash for the company. Okay, management's commentary. Peter Wall, Argo's chief executive said, this transaction with Galaxy is a transformational one for Argo and benefits the company in several ways. It reduces our debt by $41 million and provides us with a stronger balance sheet and enhances liquidity to help ensure continued operations through the ongoing bear market. So this is exactly what what all these Bitcoin miners are looking to do. They're in a liquidity jam. So they've got to solve that on both a short-term basis and a long-term basis. So this is, has taken steps to do both of those things. It also allows us to focus on optimizing our operations with significantly lower CapEx and OpEx requirements. So they have less capital expenditures because they're not going to do the rest of the build out for the Helios facility. It's not their facility anymore. So that entire portion of the business is no longer a portion that they'll be participating in. They will now just have their machines at that facility and they will pay a hosting fee in addition to electricity. So that reduces their capital expenditures going forward, money they did not have and it also reduces their operational expenditures. So this is a shrinking of their balance sheet, but hopefully it's going to be a more healthy balance sheet when it comes out the other side. Now, on the flip side of this, there's a paragraph called third quarter earnings results and suspension of trading on NASDAQ. In light of the transaction with Galaxy, the company will not report earnings results for Q3 2022 at this time. So remember, Q3 2022 is September 30th, 2022. It is now almost the end of December. So they're just a few days short of six months of information that we don't have. And I think that is a big part of what the market is reacting to today, because the last thing that we see is their half year financials. And that was at June 30th. So again, that was a full six months ago now. And we know in the interim, they have struggled. So we really don't know what that balance sheet looks like. We don't, we do know that they got rid of some debt. We do know they've added some cash based on this transaction. So whatever it looked like yesterday, it's certainly better today. But because they have not even put out the third quarter, never mind the fourth quarter, we really have no ability to determine what their current assets are versus their current liabilities. We we got a sense of what their long-term debt is now. They've restructured all their debt, and we know they got, it looks like about $80 million of debt that remains. But I think until we see some of this financial information, I'm just not sure how the market is going to react to this. Clearly, they're in a better condition than they were, but was this enough? And is there any way as an investor for us to know if this was enough? It certainly seems like a very big step in the right direction. But I'm going to show you what the market's reaction was because essentially this stock has been dropping all day long. Now, it started out skyrocketing. So they were up 120% when they opened in London. By the time pre-market opened here, that was down to about 50%. So if we look right now, even at the time I've been talking, it's down another couple of cents. So it's only up 7.7% .7 on the day. So this is going to be very close to flat on the day potentially with this gigantic news. Now they did have a really big update on Friday for essentially no reason, but this is an extremely tepid response by the market to what is a complete restructuring of their entire balance sheet and their entire business model. The trading day is not over. We're up 7.6% right now. Don't know where it's gonna end on the day. It looks like it's gonna end in the green, but this is a very, very small move 
for an announcement that they are having a complete and total reorganization as a business. So this is not financial advice. I don't know why the market's reacting this way. I can only speculate, in my opinion, the fact that we have not yet seen September 30th financial statements, and now it's almost time to see December 31st financial statements. There's six months of activity where we know Argo was struggling. So how much other liabilities did they build up in that period of time that are gonna eat into this cash that they get out of this transaction? And where does this leave them going forward? Because on the flip side, it looks to me like, and again, this is total speculation. So I'm not saying that this is what the case is, but in the event that Argo defaults on this new loan with Galaxy Digital, Galaxy Digital will have bought the entire Helios facility and all of the Bitcoin mining machines in it for $100 million, which for all I know may be the end game here. So we don't know. Hopefully this is enough to get Argo blockchain through. Just as they've said, this greatly increases their financial liquidity. So hopefully this will be enough to get them through. But I think we need to see September financial statements and then year end financial statements to get a better handle because right now we're still very much in the dark as to what their liquidity situation is. All we can say it's vastly improved. Whatever it was last week, it's vastly improved this week, but we don't know if it's enough, how long this gets them through. The market's been pulling back all day on this news. So just to take a quick look at Argo blockchain, this stock is still down about 95%, even after the action it's had over the last few days. So, and that's just from March of this year. So this stock has been pretty much completely taken out. I'm gonna zoom in and show you a little bit more of the past few days price action. Just since October 7th, this stock is now down 83.7%. Having said that, from their lows of about two trading days ago, and they did halt trading for one day, the stock's up almost 50% from its recent lows. And you can see that earlier in the day, it was up significantly more than that. And this is on the NASDAQ. So at one point today, it was up a full 84% from where it closed two trading days ago. That has pulled way back. So it's left them now. They're up about 7% on the day. We'll see where they end. But this is this is a big change for Argo Blockchain. In the meantime, this is almost certainly enough money for them to get through the rest of the year and for us to see the third quarter and the fourth quarter earnings results and take a look at their balance sheet and get a better understanding of where they're at. So I don't know how this stock is gonna trade. I suspect it's gonna trade a little bit sideways and along with Bitcoin until we get that information. So it could be several months before we really know what's going on here, but a big step in the right direction for Algor Blockchain. That brings you guys up to speed. Again, this is not financial advice. Please be very careful. Do your own due diligence if you're gonna invest in this company. Obviously, there's a lot of unknown here. They were just on the brink of filing for chapter 11. So please be careful. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.